Good afternoon. Uh, mine is a, a little bit uh, general. <coughs> it is about uh, the progress of the country uh, in biotech research and development in the past 20 years. Uh, all right, thank you. Uh, actually, my name is Tesfaye Sasa. Uh, I'm working for Ethiopian Institute of Agricultural Research. Uh, as outline, uh, I will try to summarize uh, very quickly the characteristics of Ethiopian agriculture, why the country is interested in uh, uh, biotechnology research, uh, also the effort uh, in creating conducive environment, also some uh, institutions uh, which are engaged in uh, biotech research, uh, and. Uh, status of agricultural biotechnology research and development in the country, and also the current uh, engagement in GMO technologies. Uh, it seems very <laughs> wide, but I will try to summarize within 10 minutes' time. <coughs> uh, <coughs> you know, Ethiopia is highly dependent on agriculture because uh, agriculture accounts for almost half of the GDP. 90% uh, uh, of the export is a, is a agricultural commodity. <coughs> also, the employment, it accommodates about 85%. Uh, majority of them, or 95% uh, of the land cultivated by small, small scale farmers, are like uh, Europe and other Western uh, countries. <coughs> uh, still, we have a problem of uh, malnutrition, about 44% of the children are malnourished. Uh, <coughs> actually, conventional uh, research has contributed a lot to the uh, productivity of the crops, especially for the crops. As you can see, it, it was uh, below 1.5 ton per hectare uh, uh, five, uh, 10 years ago, 10, 15 years back. Uh, now, even in 2019, it, was, it, it will be around 40 uh, and, to, and ton, I mean, 4 ton per hectare for maize. And uh, this is a good improvement, but still, this is a, there is a poor performance. So we need to improve productivity and the quality and uh, modernize our agriculture. It should be science-based and technology-based. And uh, we should... Uh, use our our uh, genetic resource uh, sustainably. Uh, <coughs> we have a unique uh, climate. Uh, as you can see, uh, the the elevation is ranging from negative 125 meter in Afar depression to 400 uh, 4,550 meters above sea level. Even the temperature ranges from negative 5 to 45 sometimes. In a far region, it, uh, it goes to uh, 45 to 50 degrees degree Celsius. But in highlands and mountain areas, are around uh, negative 5. It is a unique environment. Uh, hopefully, majority of you <laughs> in uh, familiar with Ethiopia right now, since last month, we after the uh, award of a uh, Nobel Prize for Peace to our Prime Minister. <coughs> uh, we are also the center of origin for many crops uh, and the secondary diversity for majority of uh, cereal and oil crops, also the pulses. Uh, we are the center of origin for coffee, coffee arabica, and so many uh, important uh, special sorghum. The most drought resistant uh, genotype was uh, originated from, uh, from the northern part of Ethiopia. E36 and P35, originally they, they were from the uh, northern part of Ethiopia. <coughs> uh, still, uh, we have uh, low productivity because of Biotic and abiotic factors. Uh, biotic factors contribute to 33%. And now, full army worm may, may contribute to up to up to 40% of the yield loss. 
uh, drought is another issue, salinity, so, so many things uh, contributed to the low uh, productivity of the crop in Ethiopia. Uh, uh, key te technology options, uh, uh, we look, we have to look for high productive, highly uh, productive uh, crop or uh, livestock, high quality, disease based resistant, uh, drought tolerant, heat and cold tolerant, uh, nitrogen use efficiency, and we need to uh, focus on this. Uh, that is why uh, the, the government, the countries committed to undertake biotechnology research and development. Uh, this is the uh, policy objectives of the, the Ethiopian government. Uh, uh, currently uh, promoting speedy economic development. We have agriculture and transformation plan, uh, which is, uh, will be, we expect, uh, one of the middle income countries after five years. And in the same time, the population projected to be 140 million after five years, uh, it is a little bit strange. Uh, why? I, I, I don't think this is not uh, such important because you know uh, biotechnology contributes to the um, eff efficiency and uh, effectiveness of uh, uh, the systems. Uh, <coughs> now uh, the, we have a conducive environment, uh, so many policies, science and technology policy, intellectual property rights, uh, national policy on biodiversity conservation. Uh, very recently, we, de we developed national biotechnology roadmap, 10 years uh, national biotechnology roadmap. We have also uh, national uh, agricultural biotechnology research strategy, growth and the transformation plan, and uh, so many uh, uh, conducive environment to carry out uh, biotechnology research and education in the country. This is uh, biosafety related issues, uh, policies. Uh, as you can see, in 2009, Ethiopia ratified uh, biosafety law. Then as, uh, that law was not, not uh, such uh, promising. Or, and uh, in 2015, amendment was, was made. Uh, very recently, uh, we established, we established Established National Biosafety Advisory Committee last, uh, I think, last week. These are the institutions uh, engaged in uh, biotechnology research and education. Uh, ER uh, started nearly 20 years back. Uh, Ethiopian Biotechnology Institute uh, established recently, uh, three years ago. Uh, there is an institute of biotechnology. There are more than 30 universities now commenced uh, agricultural uh, biotechnology research and education. And uh, we have also the um, largest uh, tissue culture uh, laboratory in Africa uh, with capacity to produce uh, 40 million seedlings per annually. Uh, currently we are working on uh, different programs uh, nationally, plant biotechnology, animal biotechnology, and microbial biotechnology research programs. Uh, <coughs> so far, we, uh, we have developed more than 100 uh, protocols for tissue culture, even if it is considered as conventional approach. Uh, we have uh, working on DH protocol development, screening for stress tolerance, uh, so many genome-wide association studies, uh, also genomic selection, and also some activities on uh, transformation-related uh, activities. <coughs> uh, in the area of animal biotechnology, uh, we are working on uh, reproductive biotechnology, embryo transfer. This is the first uh, uh, embryo transferred uh, bull uh, born nearly 20 years ago. But the progress is not as such as such it is lagging now. And we are working on animal health, uh, vaccine development, molecular genetics, feed and nutrition. And also we have projects, program in the area of microbial biotechnology, 
food microbial biotechnology feed and agro-industrial waste utilization. We have several activities under the project test. Uh, currently, we are working with uh, IITA. We developed uh, transgenic lines of insect. Uh, insect is a, it's, it's called false banana. It is a stable food for the sour, southern Ethiopia, more than 25 million people. Uh, currently, we are working on a commercialized BT cotton last year. Uh, also, we are working on transgenic mean, uh, tra transgenic mess. Uh, uh, con we are conducting uh, confined field trial to test uh, the efficacy of the gene. Uh, there are so many legal frameworks and regulations that permit research, education, and development and for GM crops. Opportunities, uh, as I've said, we have promising, all right, uh, <laughs> promising policy and strategies, uh, rich genetic resource, and so many things. Uh, our future direction, like uh, molecular reading, molecular uh, testing, genome editing, uh, we, we have started using TEF now for lodging. Uh, these are the partners, uh, uh, some U.S. universities, Nepal Agency, and uh, uh, Bay Kailiri, so many partners. Thank you so much.